Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and hopefully everyone's having a good day but first of all like I say in every single video now I know it's getting sad but many many thanks to everyone who's been watching leaving the like subscribing and comments and all that good stuff it's much much appreciated literally right I never thought I'd get this far in subs like it is amazing like can't thank you guys enough but anyways today we're going to basically be going to see in what would happen if the planets free roam through space so I got a comment on this and I didn't really know how to do it, but the only way I could think this would work is if we removed the sun. Because without the sun, or these planets would just free roam, but normally, like, there's no way in the game to get them free roaming without colliding them with things. So, this is the best way I can do this idea. So, if I'm doing it wrong, please comment down below and tell me what I actually need to do. But, yeah, this is what I got from the comment. Like, this is what I thought it meant. So, basically... I'm in my custom simulation here, got the Planet 9 Sedna, all the different coloured ones, so red Sedna, white Iris, got the orange Tarlinga there, and then the Planet 9 is in the nice blue, but today we are literally just going to delete the sun like that. So a um, little interesting fact here as well, since Mercury is closer to the sun, it's the first one to lose its orbit first, so if you look here, Jupiter and all these other planets are still orbiting normally, but... As it goes on, Venus is now out of orbit, and then eventually Earth is going to break away as well. Yeah, Earth's now changing course, Mars is now changing course, but Jupiter is still in a circular shape. Because, um, I think it's all due to the speed of light. Because the Sun disappeared, even though it has disappeared, its light is still being transmitted to Jupiter, so it'll take time. But once its light has stopped being transmitted now, Jupiter will basically fall out of its orbit. So it is now, since it's going in a straight line. Saturn hasn't yet, it doesn't look like. Uranus and Neptune are still looking good. But if we speed this up, the asteroid belt's breaking away as well. So that's not too good. Wait, do we have Ceres? Yeah, there is Ceres, okay. So Saturn has now changed course. Uranus looks like it is as well. And now Neptune. So look, the inner planets are already sped away, but Uranus and Neptune are still in their normal positions, pretty much. So look at that, that's amazing. So the asteroid belt is now about to pretty much go into the Ky or Kuiper belt now, so that's pretty awesome. And it's basically gone through it and now it's just expanding out. But now the Kuiper belt looks like it should be doing that as well. Look at that, that's awesome. Planet 9 still just chilling the way it usually was. Sedna, how's Sedna doing? Oh, it looks like Sedna's changed courses as well. So yeah, there we are. That ring, that is awesome. Look at that, wow. And I'm speeding it up as fast as I can, so... Yeah, there we are. That's what would happen if the sun disappeared, or just came out of existence for an unknown reason. So, there we are. Pretty short video, I know, but wow, look at that. That is awesome. <laughs> Alright, so there's one more thing I want to try this. I'm going to go into the upload, the simulate, what's it, the simulation with all the stars. So I think it's, um, I think it's called the closest 100 stars, and we're going to try it from there. So, where is it? Um, I'll find it stars okay nearest hundred stars okay so here we are so what I want to do here is I want to add the planets to the Sun like this then I want to delete the Sun and then I want to see where the planets head out so let's hit play so are these guys gonna start orbiting the Sun please say they are Are they in orbit okay so they are in orbit of the Sun it looks like so I'm gonna speed it up a bit oh I think it's going peculiar here already so we're gonna de now delete the Sun and then this is what would realistically happen. Let's see if these other stars have any effect on um, on these planets that are, which are now free roaming into space. Yeah, there we go. So we've only got um, the original planets and then Pluto here, but that should be good enough. So this is our solar system and the closest star is Alpha Centauri here. So they've got to travel three light years to even get close to another star. So yeah, we're going to have to speed this up a lot and hopefully no supernovas uh, happen. Damn it. <laughs> delete supernova. Please delete. Well, that's not too good. We can delete that like that. Oh, supernovas, please, just go away. I just want to see what happened if this planet... Oh, my God. <laughs> so, yeah, this simulation isn't the best. It looks like the Alpha Centauri system just collided there. Well, <laughs> this isn't going to happen, guys. This is just a simulation. So, this is probably where the planets would end up if they did leave. So, it doesn't look like they're going to collide with any other star systems. It looks like they're just going to completely be launched out into deep space and be lost forever. Because... Yeah, they didn't even go near to any of these other stars, so... Yeah, there we are, so... If our solar system planets did free roam through space, they would just be lost forever, because it didn't look, doesn't look like they're going to go near any other star and get caught by its gravity, so... That is that, unfortunately. Um, it's not a very good ending for our poor old planets. Wow, that's another supernova. Wow, look at that. Crazy. We're traveling at a lot of years a second here. 
Wow, that is cool. So, quick comparison if you want to know. Yeah, there's a lot of stars here. But anyways, I think that'll do it for this video since it is quite a short idea. Like, speeding up time makes this very, very short. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed because this was actually quite cool to do. I've never actually done this in this simulation. I've done it before in a regular simulation where I delete the sun. But I've never done it in a star simulation like this. So, pretty cool. So the conclusion is... Like I said, if the planets um, ever just free roam through space, they would not they would not even go near another star. Like, yeah, the chances of that happening are very low due to the distances between all these stars. Like, you're looking at light years between each star here. Like, it's crazy stuff. You may think, oh, they're really close to each other, but really they're not. <laughs> they are massive distances away from each other. So, yeah, that is that. So, um, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this shorter video than usual because... Yeah, it was pretty interesting, but yeah, hopefully you guys all enjoyed, and yeah, make sure you leave a like, um, subscribe if you're new, join us, because, yeah, I seem pretty popular, I, I, I don't know, <laughs> like, my subs are going up quickly, please join, I, I don't know what I'm saying anymore, but yeah, so hopefully you guys all enjoyed, like I said, and yeah, make sure you guys all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video, goodbye.